Life's too short to drive boring cars. I've talked to many owners previously owning BMWs, Audis, Benzes, only to be extremely distraught with the expensive maintenance and service repair bills that they experience while they own those vehicles. It only gets worse after the vehicle's typically four, five, six years of age. But did you realize there's actually a whole pile of modern day luxury cars that are literally as reliable as a Honda or Toyota, which proves that you can live in the lap of luxury and enjoy the fruits of reliability. I'm gonna share a list of five great modern day luxury cars that are proven to be so reliable it'll literally almost cost you nothing to own. Let's get into it now. So the first car on my list, which is essentially number six, working our way down, a vehicle that I could literally recommend for my parents because I know they're on a limited budget, would be an Acura ILX, like we have parked behind us here. Great car, ultra reliable, and RepairPal says it ranks at about a four and a half out of five. But let's take a look and then talk some specs. Beautiful wheels, typical alloys on most cars nowadays. You'll notice you've got a pretty standard mirror arrangement and a low cost simple handle arrangement, cute and effective and stylish on both the back and the front. This one here has an absolutely beautiful pearlescent type paint and a great little duck tail. Just off the back, you'll notice it has a little flare at the top, just gives a little bit of style. Love these LED tail lights, thing of beauty on this wonderful Acura and it's an ILX. You'll notice great little button there, allows for easy access. How about that beautiful rear diffuser, adds a touch of style and look at that tailpipe. Right there, it's a beautiful Acura all day long. Very bold front grille, beautiful LED headlights. Love all that detail in the lighting arrangement here. Adds more style and touch of class. Here, more chrome accents and fake vents, which does give it a little touch of style from the front. You see you get a sunroof and a wonderful contoured hood so you don't have to drive a slug in the name of reliability. But what about inside? Acura has literally stepped up their game tenfold. Color contrast stitching and well bolstered seats. But what sort of magic do you get under the hood of this beautiful little ILX? Well, how about we start with an eight speed double clutch transmission with torque converter. Yes, it actually has a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine and it's a VTEC, so it whines and it screams and it loves to be revved. And all this goodness is 200 horsepower. You have all the lane assist and lane departure features. You have heated front seats and heated steering wheel. Makes this car as luxurious as you could possibly want. But it's also economical and without the turbos, guaranteed reliability in this beautiful Acura ILX, which essentially is a scaled up Honda. And the next one on our list is a Lexus IS. What do we have here? This is an actual IS 350, and every single IS is potentially good. The IS 250 was one that was a little bit of a carbon consumer. However, for the most part, most Lexus models are great. Why would you spend the extra money for the Lexus when you can get a Toyota essentially with similar drivetrains? Well, for the simple fact that this is rear wheel drive, whereas the Toyotas typically aren't. Any guesses which specific IS model gets the glory of four and a half out of five stars on RepairPal? Yes, guess what? It's the IS200T, which actually has been recently replaced in 2018 by the IS300, but essentially the same thing. These cars here have a turbo four cylinder engine, make about 241 horsepower and about 250 pound feet of torque. So you know they've got some punch. They've also got an eight speed automatic transmission torque converter style. So they're a lot of fun, frugal and ultra reliable. But let's take a look around. Beautiful headlights on pretty much all these Lexus cars. I love that little marker light and there's the big grill that some love, some hate. But look at these beautiful wheels on this F Sport. Again, this is a 350. This is just the big brother version of the IS200T. They've got a pretty generic looking handle arrangement and some nice body molding as well as a lower rocker panel. Looks great. How about that nice little flare and design on the hood? It all just complements that flow. Great elements. Sunroof. Beautiful mirrors. I think Lexus has some of the nicest mirrors in the segment. And the wonderful little shark fin there. They also have that nice little blip up here, similar to the Acura ILX. And the beautiful tail lights that you'll find on most of these IS models now. Because this is an IS350, you'll notice it actually has dual exhaust, whereas the 200T does not. Again, F Sport. And this wonderful Lexus, ultra reliable. What's the interior look like? The interiors on these modern day Lexuses are literally as good as it gets. Probably better than a BMW or an Audi even in this case. So the beauty is you can literally drive a Lexus for two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 miles. As long as you do your oil changes, brakes and tires, you're gonna be good to go. And here's one if you just wanna pile on the miles, rest in the lap of luxury and not worry about a thing in terms of reliability because we have a Lexus ES 
350 right here. That's the V6, three and a half liter, and you're gonna love it because Repair Pal says 4.5 out of five for this car. So it ranks very high. Very rarely do you have problems with these cars and you can run two, three, 500,000 miles with one of these cars for sure all day long. But let's talk about this. So the ES is certainly a scale up from the IS model, which you see right there, and the GS, which is more of a sport sedan. But here we are, these cars are great. I mean, you've really gotta be a lover of that grill. That's not always the biggest fan favorite, but get around that. Magnificent looking headlights, just a sculpted piece of art within this Lexus. Love those wheels. And what about the side is a little bit average looking and a little bit plain vanilla yogurt. However, that's okay because you're trading it for reliability. And then here along the back, you have these beautiful rear tail lights and this wonderful chrome accent across the back on this ES350, which is the three and a half liter V6, makes about 302 horsepower. But what's that? One exhaust and two. And there it is, beautiful car. You notice you've got that nice sculpted hood. And I love these little accents that you'll find down here in the corners. And they've got literally some of the best mirrors. This is almost from the LC500. And they've got a panoramic glass on top. How about this beautiful trim around the edges and the windows? Definitely love all that chrome accent there. Pretty basic handle arrangement. But again, Lexus is doing some big things with your interiors these days and truly does make you feel special riding around in these beautiful cars. Now in addition to the rear view camera and as well that moonroof on top, you can plug into Amazon Alexa. You also have compatibility with Apple CarPlay and low light pedestrian warning. If you're looking for that 630 horsepower screaming twin turbo V8 like you get in a BMW M5, you won't find it here. However, what you will find is a car that's ultra reliable you pile the miles on, and it will likely outlast three consecutive M5s. There you go, the Lexus ES350. And the fourth most reliable car on my list that I'd have no problems recommending to my wife, my kids, even my parents, or grandparents for that matter, is the Acura TLX, like we have parked right behind us here. They're ruthlessly reliable. And as a matter of fact, they're so good that RepairPal ranks them 5.0 out of five, making them virtually flawless. There have been the odd, sporadic, random transmission issue in some of the older models. However, this new version is ruthless. Here it is. There you have this beautiful Acura TLX. And we'll talk specifications. Let's take a quick look first. Love that headlights. Looks sharp, looks majestic and medieval. There you go, look at that. Definitely has a strong, stout look. And the car has an overall stage presence. When it rolls into the parking lot, it's gonna capture some eyes. This car certainly does feel upscale. What about the wheels? Beautiful. And then you go down the side and you see these wonderful crease up here and then the creases down below and you see all these lines flare out here at the rear haunches. Generates an overall strong stance when you look down the side of this machine. Wow, look at these rear tail lights. A step up from the ILX, no doubt. And there you go, Acura, and you've got the little mirror there. TLX and shh, it's an all wheel drive. Look at these vents all along the rear here. And one, two large oversized exhaust tips on there. Looks really sharp. And the overall presence is very strong and stout. What about the roof? Has some nice accents there too. And I love this chrome ring that goes all the way around the windows, looks sharp. And as well, you've got keyless entry and these beautiful piano gloss black mirrors. And look at that front hood, absolutely strong and stout. Looks almost like an arrow pointed, makes the car look even faster than it is. What's with that front grille? And they have a cover on there. Let's take a closer look. And you've got some great technology buried in that windshield because there's all kinds of safety technology within this confines. You've got a standard looking sunroof. And the interior is absolutely gorgeous in this car with the contrast piping and contrast stitching. Gorgeous. Every technology you can imagine in this car. And so the beauty isn't just in the reliability and the style. The beauty actually comes in performance. You can either get a turbo four cylinder engine makes just over 200 horsepower, or you can get a V6 engine makes 290 horsepower strapped all together with a nine speed automatic transmission. Absolutely breathtaking performance, beautiful styling, and virtually every luxury amenity you could ever dream of in a modern day luxury car. And the last and certainly the most reliable vehicle in the luxury car segment is what's parked behind me here. Oh no, <laughs> sorry, it's not a Mercedes, what was I thinking? It's actually 
Right here it's a Lexus ES300H. Right here it's a hybrid. That's right, these cars feature a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Couple that with hybrid technology and you have yourself a car that's extremely frugal up to 44 miles per gallon. So it's both easy to live with on a day to day basis as well as it'll last literally forever. So let's take a quick look around and then let the fact that of a five out of five star rating by RepairPal makes this car extremely easy to live with and likely will outlast you and I. Beautiful ES is always very conservative. They don't jump out at you. They're not shouting, hey, look at me. Like an M-badged BMW, RS-badged Audi, or an AMG-badged Benz. These are just doing what they do best. Get you from A to B in lap of luxury in minimal costs. Look at these beautiful cars. You still don't do without alloy wheels. Still got the, one of the greatest mirrors in the industry. And you've got a nice little soft touch there. And as well in the back, you'll notice that little indent there. And look at the back. I love the rear finishing of the ES series of cars. They are beautiful. And then down here you have all that nice chrome accents all the way along the bottom. And some of the nicest tail lights in the business as well on this Lexus. You've got a third brake light. And you've got a moonroof here to boot. What about the side contours? Absolutely looks beautiful. Slightly simplistic, slightly basic, but very reliable as a whole. Love the headlights that you're going to find on a Lexus. They are beautiful pieces these days. Now the grill is a piece that people are going to question about their own sanity. If they actually believe that that looks attractive, but that's a personal decision. What about those great touches? There we go. Beautiful car. Doesn't matter which angle, it is very attractive from any angle without being overly shouty. What about the interior? As you can see, plastic on the seats because it just came off the truck and likely won't stay long on the lot because people find it hard to live without such economy and luxury built into one nice neat package. Have you noticed a common theme? If you want reliability and that's your number one objective, it's likely going to be a Honda or Toyota based product. Now while there's lots of great choices in the luxury car segment, just know that as you scale up in terms of style and performance, you're gonna give up reliability. But again, I've had people ask me, what would you recommend for a young family that loves the branding but doesn't necessarily wanna be tied to massive expensive repairs that you often find in a lot of the Italian and German brands? Lexus and Acura definitely have you covered. And with all of that said, be sure to click on that video. You're gonna love it. Ultra popular. I just talked about why I will never buy another BMW. Gonna love it. Hope to see you real soon, everyone. Catch you then. Bye-bye.